It's Wes, welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I have some packages that I'm behind on unboxing or opening. So this is sort of an unboxing video, but more importantly, it's a thank you video. And there's people I owe a thank you to for this year. And also I realized I never did a thank you video for 2019. So I'm doing that video right now. And the reason I think that this is an important moment is I put a post up on the YouTube community tab on my channel. Uh, my son, who's 25, he's autistic. He is nonverbal. He's severely autistic, requires 24 hour care. He lives in a group home and he's lived there for, for since he was 13. Um, we went through some rough times with, with him. Um, just growing up, going through puberty, all the changes, and uh, it turned out a group home placement was best. Um, uh, so he has uh, contracted COVID, and he is in the hospital right now. And so I, I uh, put up a post saying, hey, the, not gonna do anything on the channel for a while, and I'm busy. And it's true, I have been distracted since, I mean, who doesn't open packages the day they come? <laughs> um, but we're just sitting around the house and we just had a good phone call with the doctor and things are looking good. He's making progress and Christmas is in a couple days. And I just realized the YouTube community has been an enormous support and a, a community that I've enjoyed. And so I thought I would just unbox some things here and then say thank you. So I have about five things here and about 20 people to thank. So every three or five people, I will open something. So. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, uh, I've filmed this when I was editing uh, because I lost some footage on a couple of things. So you'll see this uh, look, it's daylight outside. You'll see this look pop up a couple times in the video. Let's get started. In no particular order, I pre prepared a box here. A box here, this actually is a box my dad made and uh, he had it on his dresser uh, when I was kidding. He put his, uh, it was like a, what do you call those things? I'm, I'm at loss for the words that you put your, starts with a V, you put your um, your wallet, your keys in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying over here. Vestibule, votive, it'll come to me. The word will come to me. It's what, what a man, a valet. Man puts things that he carries around his pockets uh, into a valet at night. So this is sort of my dad's homemade valet. All right. Rambling here. Here we go. The first thank you is and I told you these are from 2019 2020 I'll give you a little bit of explanation and I will tell you um, What they do and I will also show you on the screen some of their work So number one number one is Michael Drowley Michael Drowley is in Australia. He's an amazing youtuber He's uh, very compassionate and caring and he has a great YouTube channel full of tons of content that I learned from when I was learning how to like color grade the Canon EOS R. And he's an amazing soul. You should check him out on, uh, on YouTube and Instagram. He always, always, always has time for a question. And um, so, and uh, he does this full time. He is sharing the knowledge of his full time work with the community around the world. All right. Here we go. Here's another thank you. This thank you goes to Bryce. He goes by Upright on Instagram. This probably is never gonna focus, so I'm gonna stop doing that. Um, but Bryce creates music, and he has a specific type of music. I don't know the technical terms. Synthesizers, modular, modular synthesizers, something like that. Bryce will correct me in the comments. Um, but I've asked him time and time again, hey, can I use some of your music for a live stream, for an Instagram story or something like that? He's always generous and I just love uh, love his spirit and um, just, uh, he's, he's a great guy. So I love connecting with Bryce and using music. So there we have a YouTuber, a musician, and here's our third one, Justin Bridges. Okay, Justin Bridges, um, he goes by Freelance Kills is his name. Um, but he has a couple of Instagram accounts. He's a New York City photographer, but um, he took his talents and he put it together a course on Skillshare. And so when I got into off-camera uh, flash, off-camera lighting, I took a Skillshare course by Justin Bridges. And one of the great things about the internet is you can Google people. And so I reached out on Instagram. He's answered every question I've ever had. 
And uh, this past summer when George Floyd um, was murdered, um, I noticed that he started to speak up about his experience uh, with race in America as, as a black man, sharing his experience and his perspective. And I was um, amazed and grateful that he shared his um, thoughts on race in America. And I think that that's something um, that uh, he contributes to um, the world as well that I value. And another thing is he has a podcast about finances and he counsels people on I think that's the name freelance kills is about know your finances that's his passion it might have been his former professional life um, before photography as he had a finance background but you should check him out check out his podcast um, look him up Justin Bridges freelance kills he's another great uh, creator all right so let's see let's unbox this one good time Oh, a loom cube, a loom cube. All right, this is almost like Merry Christmas to me. Uh, but I bought it because it is a little portable source of lighting, but it's also waterproof. So I was gonna try to take this down underwater with the GoPro and uh, because I've been doing some free diving of a late and I thought it'd be cool to um, take some light down under there when I do photography and see if I could contribute, uh, use that light to contribute to any sort of creative lighting. All right, on with the thank yous. I'm gonna mix this up. I just saw somebody's name in there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna cheat. All right, Braden Lampkin. Braden Lampkin is another Australier, like Michael, uh, Australier. He's another YouTuber. No, he's another photographer in Australia, like Michael Drowley, and somehow we connected on uh, Instagram. I love I love Brandon. I don't know. I don't know that I've said it, or I don't know that I have um, communicated well enough. I love the art that you create with your camera. You take great pains to create these amazing images for your grid, and they can be almost abstract or of a great uh, little detail. And it's just amazing what you do with the camera. And we've connected talking about Canon, uh, the R5, the R6, the Canon EOS R. Uh, he contributed a file that I edited for. Uh, one of the, our live streams and that was that was cool so that's a great connection that's what I mean about the YouTube community people are passionate about something all around the world coming together all right here's another thank you thank you to Nick Carver so Nick Carver has a YouTube channel but I didn't know that when I met him I just went to pro photo in Irvine which is a cool photo place photo camera store and they print um, print photos and things like that and I asked about a, a photography instructor and they just referred me to Nick Carver. So I looked him up, had a lesson with him and um, about every six months, nine months, a year, I would call him and say, hey, I, I wanna get together and I'd have some burning question. And he was also always um, kind and generous and wise. You know, I, I am paying him, but a lot of people have um, ego and opinion and he was always very kind and gentle and uh, he always steered me in a good direction. His YouTube channel is phenomenal, um, and he does a lot of things with film, and um, I just enjoy his approach to photography, and thank you, Nick, for being there. All right, let's do one more before we do another unboxing. This is, I'll save that one to last. I'll save that one to last. You're like, what's going on? What's the secret? All right. All right, so this is a 2019 shout out to Zach Gerson. So Zach is a chef and I forget exactly how we got connected. Well, actually, I, I do know how we got connected, but that is, I think, another thank you that's coming up here later. So Zach is a chef. He owned a restaurant in, um, it's was the Golden Quail. Um, it closed um, due to, I think, COVID this year. But before that, it was called Journeyman's. Um, Journeyman Food and Drink. And somehow we got connected. I'll tell that story in a little bit. Um, and I would get off of work at the school district. I would stop by there. I'd say, hey, Zach, can I drop by and take some food photos? And I was practicing off-camera lighting. And so then I, I just got to be in the restaurant kitchen he would say yeah come by anytime and he would let me shoot things uh, on the line or um, 
uh, interview him even and practice some filmmaking and uh, it was just a great great creative collaboration I felt like we we're two kind of in two different fields but both creatives and so Zach I never properly thanked you I think for um, allowing me into your kitchen and you do amazing work I think you're now in Florida um, and so anyways from 2019 to the future or the present anyway thank you Zach all right uh, I think it's time to open another gift no have we done six we've done six all right so what's in this it looks kind of small sometimes small gifts are surprisingly satisfying sometimes they are uh, small all right. all right i forgot about this all right so this is anchor links from peak design and those are one of my favorite accessories for any camera and so there's something that has not arrived yet that these are for so that'll be maybe in another unboxing so i'm going to put that down there anchor links all right here we go on marching on with uh the thank yous so we have Thank you to Will Utley. Will is perhaps the best photographer I know. I mean, it's hard when you're running a YouTube channel and you're thanking photographers. Will, man, he is a creative, uh, he's an artist. That's what Will is. What he can do with light and his camera is just world class. I, I'm in awe and I wanna be around him and I just wanna learn from him and, and what he can do. I wish him the best. Will, you always have time for me. You never return my text, but you always pick up the phone when I call. I, that's something I just don't understand. Maybe I'll ask you in person about that one time. But uh, <laughs> always call Will. Never text him. Okay, here's the next one. <laughs> Was that too negative? All right, Will will probably laugh. All right, next one. This is Tom Medvedic. So this is a surprising thing too. It, and it is uh, somebody I met on Instagram and really, has to do with EDC gear because I was getting into EDC gear, buying knives and things like that. The white balance just changed. Hold on. Better? Hopefully it's better. I'm trying something I have a camera on 3200 Kelvin and I have like a tungsten uh, gel up there. Uh, where were we? Tom Medvedic. Um, and so I was getting into EDC gear and I, I, I noticed that guys would post their knives but also their guns and i was wondering what kind of community am i getting into and then one day uh it was around the george floyd um movement across america people reacting to george floyd's murder i came across this video from tom medvedich talking about um uh, social justice and racial justice in america and what it meant to him and it was from the heart he actually typed it out and he read it uh, to the camera. He has he runs a Notorious EDC, which is a big uh, Instagram page for, for EDC gear. And I was moved that he took time and addressed the issues of uh, race in America and social justice. And that meant something to me. And so I started to follow him. And uh, I recently, Tom, I recently watched your video again from I think it was June and I shared it with my wife. Yeah, it was important and authentic and it was a great moment. I think you called it the most important uh, social media post you've ever made. Um, however, you're not only that guy, you're incredibly artistic and creative and generous and anytime I have a question, um, you don't know this, I don't think, I don't know. There's two guys who got me into Fuji, which is a huge something that happened for me this year and you're one of them, you posted I love the Fuji X100V and I saw what you did with it and I thought that is a camera. I think you were camping and you're like, you had your camera out camping, taking a picture of a knife and I'm like, that that's the relationship I want with my camera. I don't want it in a backpack that I have to unpack. I, I want a camera that I take with me. Anyway, so thank you. And also shout out to your YouTube channel because uh, if you don't know Tom, he's a professional product photographer of the highest class doing stuff for Maybelline um, and has done uh, other sorts of photography. I think 10 years ago, I've seen on your YouTube channel, you know, uh, photo sessions with rap stars, kind of behind the scenes before there were behind the scenes on YouTube for photographers. And uh, you're amazing, you're kind, you're generous, you're witty, you're funny. I like the memes you post. And um, I love that you share so much of yourself with the community. And so... So thank you. All right, let's do one more, I think, before we unwrap, unbox. I said unwrap, obviously this is Christmas. All right, 
a deal a deal so a deal Constantine is another uh, another creative he's a musician and he writes beats, he makes beats, and I love the beats he creates. And he's the other guy that got me into Fuji and he did it, he didn't even know he was doing it. I just saw his uh, beat making videos on YouTube. I just loved the way his YouTube videos uh, looked. And he said, yeah, it's Fuji, it's the X-T30. And so I was like, that's awesome. And that planted the seed about six months ago that Fuji was something that I possibly would like. All right, moving on. Oh, I only have three left, so here we go. I'm going for one of the big guns. You ready? This is easy. One, these envelopes are so easy, it takes the fun out of it. Viltrox, it's a lens. That's a little picture of a lens. It's a 56 millimeter F1.4 for the APS-C. And it is a new lens for my Fuji X-T4 that I'm filming on. So this will be equivalent to something like an 85. In the unboxing video, you must unbox. Oh my God, mercy. There it is. Little lens pouch, Viltrox. My heart left in my chest. Look at that slim profile, nice. Is that a lens hood on there? Nice, there it is. It's gorgeous, it's tiny. Compare this to the 85 on the, the Canon. All right, we will put this to good use and uh, expect pictures from this coming to Instagram. Two packages left, but now we have another set of thank yous. We are going to thank David Lopez. David Lopez is somebody I met recently, connected with on Instagram. And uh, is when I got Fuji, actually, um, ironically, because he has... Actually, I followed him for a long time. He was Canon Dude on Instagram. He has a big following over there, and he, he created it by posting all these gear shots of cameras. And so uh, he's been generous with his time. We've talked about Fuji, talked about Canon, connected recently on Instagram, talking about strategy over there on Instagram. He's a cool guy. Another thing about David is he has a YouTube channel and he's been doing these POV street photography videos and they're cool. He just walks around, takes pictures, posts them, and then narrates it after fact. It's awesome. All right. All right, drum roll please. Tony Mellinger. Tony is another, I was about to say cool cat. He's a cool cat from St. Louis uh, and he does uh, YouTube and Instagram, but his YouTube channel is something to be admired. I look up to him. He has, it, he's another person like Michael Jolly does video production full time. He's a photographer, he does freelance photography. He has his clients there, but he also does uh, full time videography and video production. And he's always down to, to talk or answer a question. And I, I just look up to him. I look, Tony, I don't know if I've told you that, but I look up to you. I respect you and you're kind and generous with your, your time. All right, let's shake it up, shake it up, baby. I think I just showed my age there. That was a twist and shout reference. Okay, this says Nuclear Frank, but his name is Frank Torres. Frank is one of those uh, I put in the uh, real life category, somebody I've met in real life. Um, and Like Will Utley, I think, who else is there? I think that's it. So far, these are just social, Nick Carver. Nick Carver, Will Utley, Zach Gearson. And another real life person I've met is Frank Torres and he's got a cool Instagram page. He's um, all about Canon. I followed him. I, he shows up randomly in uh, Potato Jet videos somehow. <laughs> and I actually got to meet him this week. We went out for early morning uh, sunrise landscape photography and he came out and it was a blast. And thank you Frank for being cool, kind and generous and uh, looking forward to hanging out with you more. All right, let's do one more shake it up. And I should have cut my fingernails. Raven, Raven Bazel. Now Raven is a creative of another type. Raven makes cocktails. And it's interesting the journey. I met Raven uh, in another uh, hotel he was uh, working at in a special kind of, a, what do they call those things where you sneak behind? <laughs> it's got the, uh, the name from Prohibition. I'm blanking. 
easy speakeasy kind of like a speakeasy concept in a marriott and he was making these craft cocktails in a secret bar and we lived near there we discovered it stumbled in there and um it just started talking and then i followed him to his next restaurant that's actually how i met zach gearson because i heard i heard he went to journeyman's he went there started up their bar and left he's in demand folks everywhere he's there he develops their bar and he moves on and so Raven is probably the, f yes. He's the reason I started shooting cocktail photography. Um, but I met Zach Gearson because I was chasing after Raven and then I finally, uh, at a restaurant called CDM in Corona Del Mar, I connected with Raven, we shot a video, um, I've interviewed him and uh, he's a fascinating person and just highly creative and dedicated to his craft and he's inspiring. And Raven, I, I love you and I miss you. We used to hang out a lot more. COVID's been tough for our hospitality people, so shout out uh, to Raven. Okay, I, I have to open something. I'm gonna open uh, this one here, and I kinda know I'm not picking up. It's a little heavy, it's a little heavy. All right, here we go. It says flame. What does that mean? We, oh, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. You won't even believe me. I wonder if you can guess. Can you guess? No, oh, this is a personal fireplace. It's concrete. And it goes on this base. All right, so let's go back to our thank yous. We have another person to thank. We have Joni Simon. Joni runs the Bite Shot Instagram page and YouTube and she's all about food photography. And when I was learning in, uh, off camera flash, she was always, her YouTube tutorials were always helpful and she would um, respond to questions I had about things she did on her page. She was always showing behind the scenes, not just the amazing food photographs she took, but the, the behind the scenes. And she has cool tutorials and she's amazing and I just wish her the best. I used to belong to her Patreon before she shut it down. I just wanted to contribute to that um, that uh, special, just kind of curating that source of knowledge or that center of knowledge for food photographers. Um, and it was at the time when I was going to Zach Gearson, I was looking at her tutorials. How do I do this? How do I learn off camera flash? And she was a, a great source of inspiration and very kind. And she doesn't know this, but my heart would leap in my chest Whenever I saw on Instagram, Joni Simon, the bite shot, liked a photo of yours. I was like, that's so cool. That's so cool. That meant a lot to me. So thank you, Joni. Thank you. All right. Another thank you. James Logan, or also known as Logan James. Um, this is a one of a kind personality. He makes the funniest videos um, and he's always busy creating. He's uh, somebody that I look up to is always good-hearted and kind, but most importantly, he taught me to balance the gimbal. And that, my friends, <laughs> that is a thank you to Logan. James Logan, Logan James, thank you. All right, we are here with another thank you. Joan Fuller. Joan Fuller is a photographer and she's amazing. I got to sit down and interview her and I just, I just love Joan. Darlene and I, Darlene was there when I interviewed her. Darlene and I just love Joan. I'm just, it seems a little too close to the lens. I don't know what's, are these curtains? Are they flammable? Thank you to Carlos Ray Photography. Uh, I met Carlos uh, when he invited himself to go out to Joshua Tree on an Instagram post, uh, Pablo and I were talking about going. And he said, hey, can, can I go too? And he didn't make it then, but we hung out. We went to see Matthew Jordan Smith speak in Santa Ana last year. And then we finally got to shoot together and we went out to uh, Laguna Beach for some sunrise landscape photography uh this week so it's been great hanging out with you carlos getting to know you and i look forward to seeing more and more uh of what you create that brings us to this piece of, pa piece of packaging which will not withstand my knife um it will not it will not it will not and i think that's it right there it's opening <laughs> a new camera bag 
and it's lightweight and it's green. It's kind of slim. Hopefully the Fuji stuff will fit in here. I think it will. A uh, company called Brevite or Brevity is what it looks like. And I'll have to, I'll have to figure out how to use this. I have to watch their video. Popped up on my Instagram ad and I've been borrowing other bags and never satisfied. And so, ooh, that looks cool. I don't know if you can see that. This pops open and then there's all these. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna customize the heck out of that. Well, that's it. Except for Rising From the Flame. The person's name I pulled out of the wood box my dad made. That I said I'm gonna talk about later. This is Pablo Diaz. Pablo Diaz is a YouTuber with over a thousand videos to his name. He's a photographer. He's somebody I get to work with in our school district job on a daily basis. And he's always, always down to go shoot, to go create a video. He's one of the most hardworking people I know. His work ethic is off the charts. He's driven, he's motivated, he's kind, he's creative. And Pablo, I look up to you. I wanna say thank you for always being there, my friend, with every crazy, stupid uh, question I have. Why can't I get my camera to turn on? It's the lens cap, Wes. I mean, that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, if you don't have somebody like Pablo in your life, um, look for him. Look for him. Find a friend who will be interested in you and invested in you and uh, bring out the best in you. And that's Pablo. And actually, all these other people, all these other people are people who have given of themselves either through YouTube or social media um, or in person. And they have made me a better person. And now, uh, this channel would not be possible, would not be possible without the support of my wife. And she, um, she's always maybe the most critical of what I'm doing on the channel, always offering feedback and um, why don't you do this and honey, don't do that. Uh, and I appreciate her and she supports me wholeheartedly um, and supports me more and more uh, as the channel grows. So. That's something that's really, really wonderful. And I couldn't do the channel uh, without you, Darlene. And I thank you for your support. And uh, here's to a good 2021. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my, my heart. 2020 has been, has been brutal in a lot of ways. And I'm thinking about my son tonight. And this was a nice moment just to think about how much I have to be grateful for. And uh, I will see you in the next video. So this was an unusual video. Normally I'm talking about cameras, camera settings, um, how to go out and shoot on location. And uh, so thanks for hanging out with me and just uh, spending time with me at the end of the year. I appreciate you if you like this video, if you're new to the channel, um, subscribe, click the like button and leave me a comment and let me know what you're grateful for and who your shout outs are for in 2020. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video.